and welcome to another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuide.com. Today we're doing a, view, a review of Adobe Premiere Elements 8. So, Adobe Premiere Elements 8 is great software. I mean, this is one of the favorites of many videographers out there today. Um, it's not for beginners. It's a pretty much an intermediate program. And there's some other um, Adobe video software packages that are um, more professional, but this one gives you a lot of options, and you can do so many different things with it that um, you will definitely be definitely be pleased if you decide to go with the software. So, first and foremost, um, it has the tabs up here at the top. You've got organize, edit, disk menus, and share. Um, pretty self-explanatory now when you get into it you have a few options you can get media which will take you here where you can go ahead and uh, get it from uh, your camcorders depending on what type of camcorder you have gives you an option you can get um, pictures from a camera get video or pictures from your webcam mobile phone or files on your computer um, these are files that were on the computer um, you can drag them drop them down into the timeline where you'd like them to be and set them up to be viewed by individuals uh, once you have them down here you can do a lot of different things with them you can um, cut them you can open them up so you can go ahead and cut and trim you can do uh, different things with them from here within the software you can preview it here if you like see how it looks a lot of different things you can do with that um, so you also have an instant movie that you can create um, pretty self-explanatory. You click on it and it walks you through the steps of creating an instant movie with the uh, items that you have in the timeline. You have an organi organizer to organize your files and then you have your projects that you can go and open up. So Now that we've uh, went over the simple pieces of the um, organize uh, tab, let's go to the edit tab. So for the edit tab you have a few choices here as well. You have effects, uh, transitions, titles, themes, and clip art. So for the effects, as you can see here, it has a lot of different effects. If you click on them, it'll actually give you a little sample of what the effects are going to look like. And you can see it up here at the top. So let's go to something that would be pretty big difference here. So when you're looking at them here you can actually see how they look. Gives you a little bit of a preview of what they would look like. So if I were to click on apply you can see it on here. Okay. If I want to go ahead and remove the effect I just click on it and click on the trash and it goes away. So let's say that I did want to apply that effect. Well now I want to go ahead and edit it. Well, I click on maybe I don't like where that's at if I click on edit the effects then I have many different options here to image control motion opacity and lighting effects so I can go into any of these and play with it and you get a, an idea of how these changes will affect your video so click done and it would save it but like I said I want it so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click on the trash and now it goes away so I can do that with any one of the effects on here as you can see there are many different effects to choose from and they all have A lot of different functions to it. So, as you can see, what I was doing there, I can click on as many one of these effects as I want, and just keep adding different things to them. And as you can tell, as I click on the effects, then they start to show up here, and I can edit them. And I click on each one of the different effects so that I can have um, more control over what I'm going to do with the effects. So. We also have transitions here. So, transitions, there are several different transitions to choose from. 
if you click on a transition it gives you a preview of what that transition looks like you can drag it down in here and actually hit play and get a preview of what that transition looks like now there are several different transitions here as well um, as I've said on you know, some of the other uh, reviews that I've done stick with the fade in and fade out I mean, it's, it's the it's not the flashiest but it's the most professional looking and if you utilize that type of transition it's going to look the best All right, so now we have titles. So there are several different titles that you can choose from. Some presets in here that you can add to your video if you want to. Um, you can just click apply, and then you'll see the title shows up on the next video track, and it's uh, actually overlaid over the video that's behind it. So pretty nice little feature there. It makes it easy for you to put some uh, video tracks into or I'm sorry titles into your videos so if you want to you can just create your own by clicking on the little text button there and then you have the choices of all the different fonts that you can go through you can actually give it motion if you want it um, you can move it to different positions on the screen if you like um, a lot of different things that you can do with it to make it your own so you can add images to it that you may have on your computer it's a really simple um, way to add some quick text to your project and so next you have themes so these themes you can utilize to uh, put into your video if you put it on to here then you'll have a theme of some of your video clips going through some of these themes that they have chosen here and there's a lot of different themes that you can choose from on here as well um, so it's a really nice feature if you just want to put together something at the beginning or the end of your video to add a little intro or outro to it then you have your clip art so you can actually add uh, some clip art to video if you wish say I wanna put little mister dinosaur in here so now you see that he's on the screen so um, you could actually if you had any movement going on, on the screen if you double click on the clip art you get the option here to do the motion tracking mode which actually will make the clip art move around on the screen depending on which object you want it to stay on top of or stay with it's a pretty cool little feature that they added so um, you know take advantage of it if you want to the best way to use that is with some of these things down here on the bottom there's hats uh, sunshades eyeglasses uh, the fish so if you want have a, something in the water you can actually make the fish move around in the water if you have somebody you want to make them look funny with a wig or a hat then you actually have those things on here as well and you can make those things that stay on your subject's head or um, on their face or what have you so um, really easy to do and it's a lot of fun if you use them in the right way once again if you're doing something professional I would stay away from the clip art the next option is the disc menu so if you're making a disc, a DVD, Blu-ray, then you have a lot of different options here for your uh, menu and your chapters, and it makes it really easy for you to put together a pretty professional-looking uh, DVD or Blu-ray disc. And then you have the share option, so of course you can share it to a disc online, to your computer, 